Hi, you guys. So, I don't think I ended the last video. I think I ran out of room in my last video. So, I'm going to post it still. But I just, yeah. But, um, today was my first flight by myself. And, yeah, I'm in the hotel room. I'm in North Carolina. I'm in Durham, North Carolina. And I'm in this nice hotel. This is so nice. I love it. Still a hotel. Um, whatchamacallit, review. This is the, um, Hotel Indigo. Let's start at the door. It's like a real house. Picture. I guess it's connected. I don't know. This one's a master. Well, I guess I am master. I don't know why it has. That's so weird. Anyway. And then, like, this is the wall. Imagine waking up to that every morning. And then the bathroom. I did not flush the toilet, so let me do that right now. <laughs> but this is the shower. And this is what it came with. They got a Veda, so I'm definitely taking all of this. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> but like, it's like glass here. I'm gonna take a shower after my food comes because I ordered some food. Bathroom. <laughs> the sink is cute. Oh, and they got hooks. I don't have the um I didn't bring my towels. I totally did not know that I was gonna be coming here because um I'm on reserve. And when you're on reserve, you really don't know how your schedule is going to be. So, I didn't know I was coming here. If I would have known, I would have packed my towel, my washcloth. I really thought I was going to be in reserve all day. And then they were going to release me. And I was going to go home. But that didn't happen. Which I'm okay with because I'm in this nice place. So, not complaining. Moving on. Okay, so this is the room. It's really big for just me I love it I don't know what that is really but whatever this is the bed it's a mess because I got all my stuff chair window desk TV I love that they got this like it's a real house and you can put your own stuff in it if you're gonna be here for days I'm only gonna be here for tonight if you know about flight attendant life if you're only Station, well not station, but like you're only in a place for like a night and then you leave and you do your next trips. After this, I'm going to be going to, I'm going to be more Baltimore. Yes, I love Baltimore. Last time I was there, I had so much fun. But I'm going to be in be more. If anybody know me, they know I want to move there so bad. Little closet, love little thing going on here. It's cute. I like this hotel room. All my hotels need to look like this so I can get very spoiled and bougie. Oh man, I ordered food from Uber Eats and I could have got something from the bar. And this stuff was cheaper. Wings was seven dollars. No, wings was eleven dollars. Does it come with fries? Oh, it don't come with fries, so it would have been. It probably would have been the same amount. But I gotta got a real meal. I got. I went. I ordered from Hooters, and I'm getting fries and chicken. That's the only thing that's open. But yeah, let's see the window view. It's probably not a view. Nope. It's okay. The double trees over there. But yeah, this this room is way better than the one that I stayed in Cincinnati for sure the one in Cincinnati I was looking like what is going on no actually the Sheridan the Sheridan was nice who's texting me oh. the Sheridan is nice 
The only thing I did not like about the Sheridan was the bathroom. That bathroom was just like creeping me out. So I, I started making like mental notes and I still didn't do it. I love this oil lighting in here, so I'm gonna keep coming in here. But um, I kept making mental notes like, you make sure you have your own towels, your own washcloth, wipes, Clorox, just anything to clean this, this tub. It's just, it was, it was so nasty. I was just like grossing myself out and then I felt like I was getting sick in there at least with this bathroom I just feel like it's extra cleaner it, it really is my life was mad boring before this life this, okay so I got like everything I'm taking all of this yes yes I am what's this so this um Makeup remover. I don't really wear makeup. The thing about me and makeup, what's this shoe shine? Okay. The thing about me and makeup is that every time I put on makeup, my face gets extra oily and then I break out. So I don't know if it's, if it's that brand I'm using or I don't know what's going on with this. There you go. Um, I don't know if it's the brand I'm using or if makeup just makes me break out. I don't know what it is. I finally found a color that is my color though because I've been trying to find foundation that's my color. I'm not a makeup person, but I've been trying to find a foundation that's my color and I always either A, look like a ghost or B, look darker than what I really am. So I found a color that's my color and... I just haven't I've tried it and it looks good on me but I have an oily issue and it's supposed to be oil free so I don't know what to do about that part if anybody is an MUA or does makeup really good please comment in my um please comment below and tell me why is my skin getting oily every time I put on makeup and what can I use to not make my skin oily because I just don't know it's to the point that I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to wear makeup. I have not worn makeup for that reason. So, I know they want you to be like all done up and stuff like that. But, I figure if I do my hair like slickly, like very slick all the time. And have on earrings, which I don't because I lost my earrings. <laughs> and make sure my lips are not white like they are right now because I'm very hungry. Then I'll be fine. I'll be I'll be a okay. I won't have any issues. So yeah, if I do those things, I won't have issues with you know not looking right. But my hair is always done in this style because it's just to me the easiest style to do. It's very easy. You know how some people are like really can't. They're horrible at braiding but they are really bomb at twisting. Me, I'm the opposite. I am horrible with twisting, but I'm great with braiding. My braids always look good, no matter what. So yeah, I'm just waiting on my food to come, and then I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'm going to go to bed, because I have a flight at nine in the morning to go to Baltimore. I'm having back-to-backs tomorrow, because I'm gonna be going, from you know I don't even know I need to look into that get my shoes flopping that's not that I need to turn that in though damn it I totally forgot to call I knew I was gonna forget I should have did it when I um when I was there so I need to get my my oil changed in my car and I forgot to call them and tell them that it's not happening so I'm going to have to call them in the morning and tell them that it's not happening. I don't know where I put the paper. Where is my thing? I don't have the TV on. I'm just taking them in some more. So for my first, um, what do you call it? I was really nervous. And I feel like I did somewhat okay, but I don't feel like I did my best. And the reason I feel like I didn't do my best is because I have a timing issue. Once I get over the timing on when everything has to be, 
I mean, I kind of, I got it, but it's less, it's just like, I'm trying to hurry up and do it because I'm just like <sighs> excited. So I need to stop being too, too excited or else I'm just going to keep messing up. But once I got that, I'm good. Let me see the time. I need to find... Watching me like clockwork. I'm texting my bed. But yeah, so let me um, find out what's going on with my food. I don't know what time it comes. It said 10.51. <sighs> I need to, um, it's really cold in um, North Carolina. I thought North Carolina was gonna be like feeling like Atlanta, but nope. Doesn't feel like Atlanta at all. It's cold. Like I have the heat on 77 and it's just like not working. I don't think it's on. <laughs> oh, it's on. All right, I turned it up to 80. It's on, cause it was not on before. It was 70, it's 76 in here, but it feels so cold. Like so cold. So yeah, I need to put my phone on the charger. I'm just walking from place to place. My feet are killing me, okay? But this shower is dope, okay? I mean, I love the fact that they got like all these Aveda. This is my favorite hotel so far. Other than the one in Des Moines. The one in Des Moines was nice and I did not tape it and I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't tape it, but it was nice. But this one is better than the one in Des Moines. And the one in Des Moines was, was pretty nice. It was pretty, you know, but this one's cute. I love how they got this set up and I feel like the colors on the wall is the reason why, you know, to make you feel all like you're on an island, especially like the sheets and stuff like that. It makes you happy and stuff and makes you just want to think about being happy all day. But um, yeah, I'm gonna turn this off because I'm kind of rambling. I guess that's the whole point, but yeah. If I have something else to say, I guess I'll turn it back on. So, bye.